How's it going guys? It's Kyle Darts here back with another video and in this video I thought I'd um, you know help out the community and show you guys how to go about creating that Dragon Ball Z type anime hair inside of Blender and it's really easy it's just really um, about repetition doing it over and over but let's go with the general shape really quick and what I'll do is just press shift A then go to curve and then I want to go down to path and then I'll do this to the left then I'll press shift A and then I'll choose curve circle and I'll drag this to the left and what I want to do really quick is um, downscale both of these so I'll just highlight them both hit S and I do want to rotate um, this circle so I'll highlight this press R 90 then press X to rotate it 90 degrees in the X axis and I do want to drag down this um, this first one, which is the path. And really quick, what I want to do is add some thickness to this line. I want to embody this shape. So to do that, we first just select this um, path, go down to the object data properties here on the right, and now we want to scroll down to where we see geometry and hit that drop down and make our way to the bevel section right underneath here. And where it says object, you want to select this eyedropper tool and just highlight this circle here. And you'll know that it's working if you highlight over it and then the object pops up. Select that. And really quick, you see that it now has this uh, cylinder shape. And what I want to do is just rotate this. So I'll just click on this object, hit R90, then press Y. So it's facing up and down. And I'll just slide this down just a little bit more so we can actually see what's going on. And I could just um, start going to make it the strand now, but I want to show you guys what's going on. So if I were to select this circle, hit tab to go to edit mode. If I drag select to select any of these vertices, hit G to move, you'll see that, you know, the cylinder shape at the bottom moves. And it's reacting to the vertices that I'm selecting on the top, right? So what we want to do is get that general shape we need for that first strand. So what I'll do is first toggle off the hair on this object because uh, you guys remember him. This is the character I did of one of my previous videos. So I'm going to get out of edit mode, select this object and hide the hair because we're going to do some cool anime Dragon Ball Z style hair. So what we want to do now is use this to start affecting this hair strand. So let's hit tab to go back into edit mode. And what I want to do is get like a more of a triangular look so we can select any vertices. So to see all three vertices, you need to select one first and then you can select the two on the edge. And really quick, I'm going to turn off proportional editing here at the top. So I can select a specific vertice, hit G. Now just create a nice little sharp corner there. Select this one on the opposite end, hit G, select one of these, and you can really get any shape, it doesn't really matter. Grab the top, grab this vertice, hit G, move that down or up. Now I'll grab this bottom one and grab the left vertice, hit G. And I have this wacky shape. Now what is this shape? Now, really quick, one thing that I'll do is hit tab, get out of edit mode, and I want to select this shape here, and I want to close off these back ends. So what I'll do is go back over to the um, project um, data properties, and I will go down to bevel, and I will press fill caps. And I probably should have done this earlier, but well, at least we still got to it. Now we can start manipulating this shape. So I'll hit tab to go into edit mode, I first want to select the top or the bottom and then to close this out you can't just hit S and scale it doesn't work so let's right click to get out of that so the way to go about scaling this we want to press alt S and that's just gonna give us the ability to shrink this down we want it to be nice and sharp at the tip and we'll do the same at the bottom so we'll select the bottom vertice press alt S and downscale this as well. 
Now we can drag select over all of these vertices and hit S, not Alt S, but S. And we can scale these uniformly. So we have this shape. So let's hit tab really quick. And let's just look around this. So you see we have this shape that has these short, these sharp corners sticking out. And this is perfect. So what I want to do is now um, manipulate this. And I, really quick, I will show you guys something else you can do. If you want to stylize this a, a bit more, you can hit tab. And let's select any of these vertices. So let's select this vertice here. And let's press Control T. And what we can now do is rotate this and spin this if we need to. So if you wanted to do curls or something like that. That's a nice, um, you know, something cool you can do. Give it a nice little spin. So I guess we'll have a little slight twist. Now let's bring this closer to the head. Now with Dragon Ball Z style characters, all there is is variation in size and scale. And we could have easily have um, set this on a particle and dispersed this amongst the hair and the general area we wanted to and driven it that way. But I think it's more, um, a little bit more controllable to do it one by one. It's really repetitive, but it's definitely um, worth it. So once you have it here, let's um, shift D to duplicate this and I'll just move the original over here because we're going to display this a little bit later. So let's bring this over here. I'm going to downscale this. So I'll hit S. And let's do some of those bottom curls. So once you have this where you generally want it to be, you can hit tab, go back into edit mode, select these vertices, and you can just hit G and start to manipulate these. So this is where the fun starts happening and you can actually pinpoint how you want your character to look. And you know, it's, it's really fun. It's just, it takes some time to get used to. And then you can play with the thickness as well. So I can select this vertice, Alt S, and I can get those uh, thicker uh, edges at the roots, right? So once I have this, I'll do a few more at the bottom. Shift D, duplicate that, right click to cancel the location of it. And then I'll just move this and I'll scale this to be a little bit bigger because we have that variation and this may be too much, but um, I think it goes somewhere around here, hit tab and I'll just move these like so. That actually looks pretty good. So I'll leave that. Go back to this one, duplicate. And it's just rinse and repeat. You're just rinsing. I mean, you're just, um, you know, duplicating these where you need them to be. I hope this video is actually helping you guys and it's making sense. And I'm not just blowing smoke. So if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up, like, and I'm just going to continue doing this. And I might even just do a time lapse, but I think it's, uh, it's more important that you guys watch so you can see the variation. Because we have those strands and then we have this one that I'm just going to duplicate again. And we have the bigger ones as well. So I'll hit shift D so I can know to make one bigger. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll just upscale the bottom vertices so we can get that look which we can then do the same so we can have the big ones shift D and what you want to do is just start playing with the location of the vertices as well because that's what helps with the breakup is not having them look so you know instanced Have some of them off, tilted in a different direction. Boom. This. I'm just going to go over here and then I'll put on this tune shader EXR. You'll see that we have that style that we're looking for.